everybody, it's Carl Brown here from GuitarLessons365.com and today we're going to talk about a little cool technique for our Lick of the Week series of violin swells. You can hear this, uh, you know, it just kind of emulates the sound of a violin, how the violin bow um, can be applied as they bring in the pressure as they drag the bow across the strings and it brings up the dynamics as they play. Guitar is a percussive instrument, so when we hit the string, um, it pretty much it kind of sounds automatically. So um, this is a nice technique that you can use from time to time to um, kind of take away some of that percussiveness and get a nice kind of smooth um, entrance of the note. All right, so first let me explain this technique that I'm doing. I actually, what I just played there was the beginning of a, a Bach piece called Jesu, Joy of Man's Desiring. And uh, you can get the tab for that at the site uh, along with this lesson at guitarlessons365.com. Just look for the link in the description. But let me describe this technique. Now basically what, it, uh, what you want to practice when getting this down is I'd like to just practice holding a single note. So let's say we're holding this, the, um, the ninth fret on the third string. And we're going to take your, I like to use my third finger and pinky together to do the, the, the volume knob. Okay, so I'm kind of just grabbing those and wrapping them around the knob so I can just kind of go in, so, so I'm kind of like um, just going down one side of it. You see how I'm just taking one side of it? And I got those two fingers together. Really the only one that's kind of hitting the, uh, uh, the, the knob is all those two strings, but I'm only hitting one side of the knob. I'm just kind of going up and down one side of the knob and it's, it's turning the knob. So I have it pretty much on zero or close to zero to start. And I have my fingers down here because I have to raise them to turn, to turn the volume on. So I, you want to practice just picking with your fingers all the way down across the, the volume knob, pick, and then bring up the note. Now try to make that happen at the same time. So make as you pick, part of the picking motion is your 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 hand coming up and bringing that vo turning that volume knob while it does you want to make it as consistent as possible now this technique uh, is helped out a lot by a little bit of reverb a lot of players will take it and like assign some delays so it creates the sound of mini notes coming in and out um, but let me show you now what I did at the very beginning. Now you just take this technique that we just were just talking about, practice it a little bit till you get a good consistent swell in of the notes, and then we have this piece. Let me first run through the notes and then we'll we'll put the technique to it. It's gonna start with the tenth fret with your pinky at the fifth string, play twice, and then seven on the fourth, and then nine on the fourth. Then come over to seven on the third string. I'm sorry. And then come down to ten on the fourth and hit that twice. So so far we have this. And then we come to nine on the third string, followed by seven on the third string, played twice. Then we go eight, seven, eight on the second string. Then seven on the third. And then nine on the fourth. Then we come back down to this 10 on the fifth string. I want to kind of go straight up here through the scale. And that is just 10 and then seven, nine, 10 on the fourth string. Then seven and nine on the third string, back to seven. And then 10, nine on the fourth string. And then we're gonna kind of break it up a little bit. It goes seven, nine on the fourth, 10 on the fifth. By the way, this is gonna be easier to follow if you just have the tab in front of you, which is available at the side. And then we have nine, 
and 10 on the 5th, followed by 7 on the 4th. Alright, then we're going to do this little arpeggio, and that is 10 on the 6th, 9 on the 5th, 7 on the 4th, and then we're going to go 10, 9, 7 on the 4th string. And we end back down with this 5th and you can just start everything over from there. So we have this. So now I just take the technique, practice it nice and slow. just work that technique up to a little faster tempo so you can get these really quick little violin swells but it's really cool for effects like doing pre-bends and just bring the thing all right so it's cool for little things like that so be creative with it and credit your own little lines with it and have fun all right so please go to guitarlessons365.com Support the site and let me know what kind of lessons you would like to see. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.